I think the Supreme Court is a, a very unique body. It's our third branch of government. Uh, people have very different views in terms of what the court is and what it should be. Uh, some take a very narrow view of it, thinking that it should be a very weak branch, not really a co-equal branch. Others think it should be more protective of uh, especially individual rights and individual liberties. The idea of the course is that we're going to study various cases that the U.S. Supreme Court takes involving race and education, abortion, religious liberties, and issues like that, and address how the Supreme Court has dealt with those cases in the past, and if we can predict how they might deal with those cases in the future. First, we'll talk about race and education. Well, we'll look at the case of Brown v. Board that looked at race in terms of K-12 education. We'll also look at a more recent case, uh, the Fisher case out of Texas, uh, that looks at uh, colleges and universities and how race should work into those issues. Uh, we'll look at, obviously, the hot button issue of, of abortion and a woman's right to choose, um, both in terms of its historical perspective and also how the court has changed over time in terms of how they frame and look at that right. Lastly, probably in the news a lot right now, as we're filming this, is the issue of religious liberties and the First Amendment and how do we balance uh, various rights under the Constitution with dissenters' views of their religious rights and liberties, one example being uh, the cake baker case out of Colorado. I think this is an important topic for, for all citizens to understand the court uh, more. We don't, we talk about it in election years. I think it's a very critical issue as we look forward. Right now, the average age of the justices on the Supreme Court is 78 years old. We have three justices that are well, they're either 79 or, or older. And so I think it's important for people as both they act as voters and also inform members of the electorate to understand what the court is and establish their own views. Um, of what that institution should look like going forward. I think students will gain a deeper appreciation for what the Supreme Court is, how it functions on a day-to-day -day basis, and also some perspective of how it should function. My, my hope is students will gain more of a knowledge of the court and how it interprets cases so that when they read news articles in the future, they'll have an appreciation uh, for what the Supreme Court is actually tackling. I invite you to join us this fall as we look at the U.S. Supreme Court. I look forward to seeing you in class and continuing the conversation there.